Oh yeah, boys, we found us an IS-250. This thing's been in pretty bad shape. Look at the front end of this thing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I decided to go down to the junkyard. I've got a, an LKQ U-Pick here in town. I needed to go find some calipers for a Volkswagen Touareg. This junkyard had an IS300 a couple weeks ago, but last night when I checked their inventory, they didn't have it. So I'll just go look around, see if they might still have it, but I doubt that they have that one anymore. Maybe everybody stripped the parts off of it, but I really wanted those Touareg 17Z calipers. And uh, this one had the 17Z model. So I'll go ahead and go look at that now and see what I find out here in the junkyard and see if I can find any other gems. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, there it is guys, VW Touareg, same one I was looking for. So it looks like, from what I can see, it does have the 17Z calipers. Hopefully it's the 17Z and not the 18Z. Go ahead and strip these babies down. I'm gonna take the rears too. I already have a set of rears I ordered from another junkyard for 60 bucks, but I'll just pick these up anyways just to have them. Oh yeah, jackpot, 17Z, perfect. So these are pretty good condition, no, no major wear or damage, so good to pretty much clean up and use on my application. Oh yeah, the front was a success, pretty easy. Those things are like 21 or 22 millimeters bolts. So, so they're pretty large, they're bigger than the lug bolts. So luckily I had all that with me and I had the impact gun to take it off. The rear is just a little bit of a struggle. I didn't have the star key. I think it's like a star 12 or star 13. I only had a hex 12 and the hex 12 kept slipping. So I just prepped everything to take off. I'm actually gonna run down the Harbor Freight and grab a sock set or a star set and see if I can get this off. Oh yeah, found us a 2JZ GE out of an SC300. I gotta get some parts off this engine that I need for my IS. Oh yeah, boys, we found us an IS250. This thing's been in pretty bad shape. Look at the front end of this thing. Front end collision, it's a 250. Inside's pretty, looks like it's pretty beat up. Sticky dash right there, guys. <laughs> Anyways, there's probably not much we can salvage off of here that's worth of anything, just because condition of the car, but I'm gonna look around, see if I need any connectors or any miscellaneous crap that I don't have. I think there's an 08. This thing got hit pretty hard in the front. Look at that, the crank pulley's broken. You crack right into the block. You can see the chain in there. Dang, this engine is probably a good three feet into the car right now. Yeah, you guys need a nav screen? We got a nav screen right there. <laughs> oh yeah, out the door with these babies. The front six piston Brimbos for $78 plus the $2 to get in the door. They didn't have these six pistons in the system that they charged me for dual piston and then the core and whatever, but still uh, better than some of the junkyards I found online. They want you know anywhere from 200 to 250 shipped. So I came out pretty good. I'm still debating on whether to get the rear ones. They, they're probably gonna charge me the same for the rears because those are four pots. So I don't know if I wanna spend another $80 when I just spent 60 on a set that they're shipping to me right now. I think the only thing I need off of them is the bolts. So 
maybe I'll just go back in and get the bolts once I get a star bit. All right, got another failure. So it went down, I thought, had the right size T60, but apparently this guy uses like a T65 or a T70 torque. So uh, not getting these today. Hey guys, so you guys watched all the way to the end. So you're probably wondering if you don't know about the 17R calipers from the Touareg. They're actually the same calipers used on the Porsche Cayenne and the Audis. Uh, early on probably like 2004 to 2010 or so and they're Brimbo so that's why I'm getting them and they actually fit on the IS 300 using brackets made by this guy on Instagram I think he sells them for like 150 bucks for the front 150 bucks for the rear so I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of those uh, brackets up so I could mount these onto the car they're not a bolt-on I mean they 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 fit you got to do some shaving to make some clearance on your hub because of your suspension and other parts behind the hub. Yeah, once you shave it down, you then you paint them and you know do whatever you need to do with them. But they use, for the front, they use the 14 inch uh, GS350 F Sport uh, rotors. So I'm just gonna pick up some $30 cheap aftermarket centric ones. I'm not gonna get the two piece ones like I used on my IS250, for like 250 bucks each is like, hell no, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on the IS300. I, I spent it too much on the, the 250 in the beginning anyways, cause I spent over almost a thousand bucks on that brake upgrade. For the rear rotors, these things actually bolt on and they fit using ISF rotors. The problem with ISF rotors, most all of the aftermarket ones come with the drilled and they're not even directional. I think I think on the ISF that they, they, they all drill one direction. So on one side it goes saw and then the other side it goes the reverse of the saw. But anyway, for this car, I actually found some blanks, some cheap like $30 blanks on Rock Auto for ISF for the IS300 Sport Cross. I'm gonna go budget on that. I'm budget and bling a little bit with these. Uh, I gotta refinish these. I haven't decided on a color or if I'm just gonna put a Brembo sticker on there. Should I put a Porsche sticker? You know, which, what kind of sticker should I put on? I don't know. If I put, if I paint them red, I, want, I feel like I want to put a Porsche sticker on them because that's how the Cayennes come. That look kind of odd on a Lexus, but who knows? I'd rather have Brembo. So if you guys watch this far and you have an opinion on that, leave a comment below on that. Anyways, um, you know, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video and I'll talk to you guys next time.